since it's been a while, um, we haven't had a garden update lately. So today I'm going to do a garden update for you guys so that you can see what's going on in my garden so far. Um, it is almost the end of summer. Well, you only have one more month. But, and I cannot wait for fall because this is the time where all the succulents is going to be not just the Echeverius, but all the other succulents is uh, growing season. So here we go. Come on guys, let's go. I want to start right here where my worms are working really hard guys to get, um, give me worm castings. I'm going to feed them again to the soon. So I'm just going to put them away. Right now, they're doing what they're supposed to do. And here is my harvest for the worm casting. And I still have enough to feed my new plants and my old plants. And I do fertilize once a month. First, I got to feed my buddy. Hi, buddy. Look at the nose. Come on. <laughs> he wants his treat. He wants his treat. Good boy. Okay, starting over here. Here is my seeds that I have planted. See if I'm going to get anything out of that. Here is my topsy turvy um, leaves from a harvest. I harvested a um, flower stalk and then here are some of the things I'm going to sell at my sale gotta clean it up a little bit I think there's some mealy bugs there there's another one and then my teenage ones are over here I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do I'm probably going to sell most of these things uh, unless they're ones that um, the mother plants have died or I'm trying to revive them and there's some dark moon right there that I that I uh, the mealybugs killed ah beautiful and some of these I'm probably going to do in an arrangement and then sell them. I just don't know what to do with them yet. But I have to think about something soon. And then these are the same things, just cuttings that are right now recovering or growing. Like this. Rose tail. Sedum, rose tail. Um, here's a... Adromiscus. Then here, look at this. July 1st, and look at all the growth already. That's the Echeveria Bolin. Here's some of the chame chameleon dark moon. My avocado plant. I don't know if this is going to survive. <laughs> Um, then I have the Lilacina in there. They're all growing. Same with these guys. I think that's, uh, I forget what it was. Echeveria harmsi. Uh, yeah, and these are the ones that I set aside. Because I need to clean up the mealy bugs out of it. I don't know if I clean it up or just throw them away. I threw a lot of uh, plants um, a couple weeks ago. And there's my Sado, my boyfriend. This is, uh, I need to restock some plants to fill it. So I'm probably going to get some out of that teenage things right there. And this is my Ioniums. This is a Grapto. This needs, this is going to be recovering because uh, what happened was that when I replanted it, it was kind of the summertime so it was getting a lot of sun. So. 
here. This is starting to recover. This is having a hard time. I gotta clean up all the memes out of here. Covering pretty nicely. I still don't know the name of this plant right here. I got it from the Cacti Succulent Society sale. <gasps> Look at my Christmas tree. These are all new growths right here. So as soon as they get bigger, I'm going to take them out and put it in the sale. Ooh, look at this violet queen right here. It's just growing like a weed. Keep growing, my love. Keep growing. And then the cuttings that I did um, pick from... Ooh, I need to clean those things up. Um, I started to put diatomaceous earth in every planter because I heard um, that was pretty good. Succulent pH gave me that idea. So I'm just running away with it and see what happens, but um, that's a good uh, precautionary measure to, I mean anything, I would try anything one time and I have several things that I have been trying and have been successful, so uh, I'm going to show you or talk about it later on in a different video, but um, there's a lot of spiders, and spiders don't happen in the fall, so I can't wait for that time. Um, some of my plants are ready to um, be sold, actually. Getting a lot of it. Um, and I don't, I'm running out of space in my garden, to be honest. Here's the burrow's tail, my Rastafarian plant. This one is... A little bit struggling I don't know what's going on but here there's some parts here that are already crawling out uh, superbum right there uh, I have done updates for that here's my pearl Vaughn um, these are just like growing like a weed so every time I get little um, stalks that are coming out I just cut them you know, I thin them out and then I uh, repot them. And this is my area outside where I separate everything. I separate um, things that I need to, that needs attention right here. And then my sprays here. Oh, here's another one that I just added. Um, getting so many Echeverias. Oh, I forgot. Echeveria, Echeveria. This is recovering also. Um, it was having quite a uh, struggle there. See, this is why I don't like summer because the mealybugs are ever present. My, this is my uh, elephant bush that's just going crazy. And here are some more Echeverias over here. And it's getting morning sun, uh, but that's it. You know, four, maybe five hours. And here are some of my recovering beheaded um, plants right here. And this one is just growing so big. So it's this one. Hopefully it... It, oh, it's kind of soft. I don't know if that's going to survive. They're kind of soft. Maybe I should move them somewhere where they're going to get more sun. Maybe here. Here. Just so they can get a little bit of morning sun. Uh, yeah. And this one. Okay, so... That one over there is getting like the red stems. This one is not really because it is in the shade all day long. But if you look right here, look at all 
the Vera Higgins that I threw over there. <laughs> and they're just, they're just rooting. Uh, okay, and then this one that my sister got me from San Diego is just thriving in the shade. Here's some more Belins. These are some more Belins. Yeah. Uh, there we go. These are also to be sold at the sale. And so are these. And here are my propagations, more propagation station right here that I just keep in the shade. This is just flying. Echeveria Berlin. Is it a Berlin? Nope, it is. Yeah, Berlin. Okay, Blue, I already gave you a snack. So. Alright, so moving on. Oh, here's my no longer wayward child right here. And she's getting a lot of hair. Lots and lots. Really? I just noticed that the pearls on this guy right here is very small. As opposed to this guy right here who's pushing out so much fat ones, fat leaves. Then I have this guy right here, forget the name. But she's also, she's also doing good in the shade, I guess. These, I don't know what to do with these. These are like miscellaneous stuff. Then I have my Echeveria Embricata seeds that I'm selling. Sedum Hernandez I, uh, just growing. It's slow growth, but it's really, it's growing pretty good. Slow growth. Very loves the the um the shade there. Then this guy right here is the spa spa folia folia. Spatholofolia sedum, cave block. And look at the new growth right there. Holy baby. Alright, and then this planter right here is also thriving pretty well. Uh, this is California, California sunset keeps popping out of the planter. This guy, I love this one. This one is just growing. Look at the new, the new growth right there, and it's a summertime. Usually they they thrive in the wintertime and the fall. California sunsets. Um, this area right here is growing. Ooh, look at this guy right here. I mean, it's slow, but it's it's starting to like get really full. And there we go. This, I just planted this, but look at the growth already right there. This, um, I don't know what's going on with you. I need to remove all of this. I just kept it in there just in case they would propagate. Some of them do, some of them don't. And this pagoda right here, thriving. It was struggling. I cleaned it up, changed the soil, all that stuff. Then I had this multicolus. I think this is what it is. Yeah, the multicolus is just really doing great. I have another one somewhere. Or is this the same one? It might be the same one. But I think I have another one somewhere. And look at my. This is a tree. This is a um, tree that you can put in your salad, the leaves you can put in the salad. And it's a, it has a lot of, um, needs the shade. Uh, it has a lot of um, medicinal properties for diabetes, diabetes uh, high blood pressure, and all that stuff. So 
I wanted to grow. I bought it, um, ordered it online. I forget um, what the name of it is, but um, I'll put it on the on the video. It's not a. This is not a succulent, but it's in my garden, so showcasing this guy right here was struggling at one point but look at all the new growth already that's really crazy this one needs to be repotted because it's just getting crowded in there so what I do when I need to repot I just put it over here because of all of these things that need to be repotted those so when I get the time I'm going to do them, and this guy right here is getting too big for its britches. This is also getting too big for its britches, and actually sort of dying. I don't know. I think it's the heat or something that's keeping them unhappy. Next. Hey, ooh. This one too needs to be. And also, if I have to clean it up because there's mealy bugs, I just put them all over here on this table right there and then clean it up. Maybe change the soil, I'm not sure, but I do something. Next, uh, here's the pag pagoda, another pagoda or string of buttons. Pagoda Village. They, maybe not string of buttons, but they look kind of like it. This is just like a weed now. Really nice. And here are some more Echeverius right here. That one right there was the ice plant. Big ice plant that I got from Monterey. Another elephant plant. I wish put them there in the side there. so Because these are the ones that are grown, I, that grow fast and prolific so see, see this topsy-turvy right here I cut the stalks this flower stalks and then I pull out the the um, leaves and um, propagate them this is the uh, this is my struggling one right here not really struggling I think it might be a um, you know one time but because look at the how fat the the stalk still is and then I have little growths right there but this is the Fred Ives I have gotten a lot of plants out of him already so I'm not complaining you know uh, Ioniums are dormant in the summer but these guys are seem to be doing okay and I have the Glauca right there. Okay. This is this guy right here is about to sprout a flower or two. I woke up one morning and this they had four flowers. I forgot to take a picture. The very next day they they already like they're done. <laughs> they're done to showy being showy. Here's my huge and Echeveria embricata. I tw I swear my Echeveria embricatas are huge. Yeah, this Lilacina right here, or I don't know if it's a Lilacina or a Holy Gate. I'm guessing it's a Holy Gate. This is a uh, Echeveria. Lila Here's the Lilacina. And it kind of looks like that one. So I'm thinking those two are the same. Sometimes I lose my my labels. Can't find them. So here's another one that's... Um, I don't know if it's crested or just twins. Then my... Um, Calicoli? I don't know. But here's my propeller plants. They're huge, too. Very nice. This one was struggling, but now it's just... Look, it has a new baby. And these are just my sedums. They just grow forever. And everywhere. So, 
and they're just right now they're showing they're showy with their flowers and what I do is I because this is gonna turn brown so I just pull off you know not crazy I'm not too crazy about the flowers anyway and there's so many of them but I'll just leave it there for now Ooh, my Jennifer look at the crusted Jennifer she's happy here and I put diatomaceous earth around her to keep the mealybugs out my opalina she's happy too grab the very opalina blue hazel they're happy uh, semper vivum green wheel hands and chick chicks hi little runny rabbit rabbit uh, golden sedum i love these yellow like a pale yellow color and this is the hawaii my hawaii these are these are the rosea grapto grapto sedum rosea see how pretty i just i need to start doing cuttings and selling them because they're getting too big um diatomaceous earth um okay next on the list is the colorata is that the colorata yes it is the colorata right there not beautiful so beautiful oh my gosh and that brown beans wow i love it and um vera higgins right there are growing too it probably needs to be repotted now and here are all my Kalanchoe fuzzy fuzzies Echeveria Domingo I might have to ch to move her because she does not like the heat too much the um fire what is it Crassola campfire. Crassola campfire is still red. And I probably need to water them now because it's kind of might be too dry. Holy gate again. And look at this guy right here. I think he likes it. He likes it. He oh yeah, he likes the sun feel those leaves are just so happy cool and this is one of my favorites my blue sky it's kind of struggling a little bit I might have to move her too and this is the Darley sunshine I love that name uh, you have the perforata string of buttons right there she's growing really really happy and what else the touchdown teak also being happy over there that one almost died on me I just left it out right here and you know this because of this the rain and everything it um, started to grow again and you I know there's a lot of spiders over here so I'm definitely going to put um, the diatomaceous earth and also in the fall I'm gonna do nematode nematodes because it needs the this one is she happy I'm not sure kind of not maybe that likes the shade better then I have my poor <laughs> my poor Callan Chloe over there that's okay because that's she's going to be spreading a lot of her babies there that's the uh, mother of a thousand then I have this planter right here that I've had for a couple of years I probably need to revamp that a little bit in the fall my jade my beautiful yellow one then I have this here. 
I'm going to uh, harvest the babe, the um, the flowers. And this is the compressicollis. Compressicollis. I might have to move you. See, I took out the flowers because it attracts mealybugs, and this one needs to be watched too. This is the gray red, it's very gray red. Calico kitten. Happy, happy. And that's pretty much it. So, like, subscribe, comment, and especially share. Share, share, share!